Okay. Um, look, first half, we did a great job defensively. Uh, we executed our game plan most of the game. I would think 80% of the time we executed, but in the first half, we were really, really good. Um, and our offense was clicking in the first half as far as finding the seams in, the, in their zone, uh, converting in the paint. Our forwards did a good job finding the open gaps. Uh, we still need to re uh, we still need to convert more in the paint. Um, but second half, look, we knew they were going to come for a run, that, that they were going to get on the run. Um, and our offense didn't work so well. But again, our defense was solid for the most part. Um, and we didn't locate Mustafa Jones a few times on the three. And he got loose on Bishop, got loose on Miles, and I thought Mike Williams did a terrific job face guarding him for about four or five possessions. That was key. I think they got it to 11, maybe nine, and uh, we sort of stayed with him so they wouldn't get open, so he wouldn't get open. And, he, and it was good. It, looked, it was something that doesn't show up in the box score, but again, that's what I like. I like guys who get things done that don't show up in the box score. Well, they were great. I, I hate to take them off the floor, you know. I mean, Bishop made some great plays, just fundamentally sound plays, and that's been a big emphasis for us from day one. You don't have to jump in the air. I know he's athletic. I know he's quick. Um, he's got all these terrific athleticism and, and that sort of thing, but the best play is a jump stop to a kick out or a dime to your big in the, in the paint. Um, being patient offensively, running your sets, and if you don't get anything, let the zone spread out and find your seams. I thought he did great. Um, so you have to be patient. He thought he was patient, a lot more patient today. Junior, just a stud defensively. You know, rebounds, um, guarding guys in the post, fours and fives and threes, um, guarding on the perimeter. You know, their dribble weave gave their first two opponents a real tough time. And to execute our game plan and guarding that, that was huge for us, huge. How much did Junior's help in transition, you know, just what he did in transition against the fast break kind of impacted it? Well, I thought we all got back pretty well. Um, you know, I think when they got on, on breaks was we turned the ball over. Um, and I thought that was for the most part. But I thought everybody got back pretty well. But I thought Junior in the half court, and we did it overall a great job defensively. Um, but, you know, Junior's our key. He's our key defender. Greg does a great job defensively in the last two games. You know, I, I, Larson in the GW game, I think, scored seven. I don't know, something like that. He locked them down. And um, he did a great job tonight defensively. We just have to do a little bit better job offensively. Greg got into a, a little bit of a back and forth with Xavier Harris. Uh, I pulled everybody off the floor. What did you say to the team at that point to kind of calm them all down? I didn't really have to say anything. I was just waiting to see what the referee ruling was going to be. Um, you know, we, we want to compete with composure. I think Greg felt a little frustration of not being able to convert as much in the paint. And then the kid snapped the ball from him. Um, so it sort of built up in that mini second, I guess. Uh, but we were pretty lucky to get away with just uh, two texts or something like that. And uh, no one was ejected, no flagrant, anything like that. So that was good. And I, I, didn't th I thought the, ref the officials called it right, you know, and it wasn't that serious. Hey, hey, what was the thought process like in the game? How's he doing? Holding him out again? Um, well, we hope Friday. Look, he's had all week to um, get that thing healed a little bit more. Um, it's been stable. He's been doing his conditioning with our strength and conditioning coach. And um, we have a day off tomorrow. So Friday he'll get on the floor with his team and see how it goes. Hopefully he's ready for Sunday. Was last year's FDU game on your mind the day before? Good question. Um, yeah, it was in the back of my mind a little bit. I mean, Greg does a great job with his team. And they had won. They, look, they won down at Hawk Hill. Was that how you go? He's a Philly guy. He said Hawk Hill. I would have never known it was Hawk Hill. But um, they won at St. Joe's. You know, that's pretty darn good accomplishment, man. I mean, you know, and, and again, they run an offense, it's, it's tough to guard. Dribble, weave, dribble, weave, and they, they test your patience, and they look for a scene, they look for a breakdown in the, in the defense. Um, but look, look, Mustafa Jones hit a three down there, just like last year, they hit a big three with a, you know, short clock. Um, but every game is like that.
you know, for me, going into a game, you just, you just think you, you won't even score a point. You might get beat 80 to nothing. That's how coaches think. The team seemed a little bit flat to start the second half. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Miles Mack was struggling a little bit. How yeah. big was that three that you did? Yeah, uh, that was good. I asked the coaches. I said, "Well, look, will they check to see if he got it off in time?" He said, "No, they can't do that. They'll check to see if a three, if it's a three. So I was, I was glad about that. But, um, <laughs> but he, you know, it was good. Um, just one of those things, you know. I mean, we've had those happen to us in the past. I mean, even last year, they hit a three at the end of a clock. That was a big, a big shot for them. But you know, you, you got to get lucky sometimes and. But you work hard for your luck. You know, we, 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 we were patient with the offense. We didn't throw it away on that possession. We had the wherewithal to kick it out to Miles, and he sort of, I think they gambled, and he recovered and shot it up just in time. So it was, it was a big key play. You're right. First start for DJ, what do you think of his performance tonight? I thought uh, at the beginning he was good, and then he was awful, you know. I can say that about a freshman. I wouldn't say that about a sophomore or junior. I can get away. Uh, he was awful, just plain awful. Um, but uh, we love him. We think he's got a great upside. He's just got to get his feet wet and get through, through the experience. You know, I mean, I, I just heard Mike Krzyzewski the other day talk about um, one of those big Hall of Fame coaches said, look, I think it might have been Izzo. We have to go through the experience. It's just not going to happen in 30 practices. It's not going to happen in two games. It's going to happen, you know, we got three freshmen we're going to count on a lot. And it's going to take, you know, over half the year for them to really get, get comfortable and understand what this is about.